All right. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is your forecast for the week ahead, uh, January 18th through the 24th, 2021. For all Aquarius suns, moons, risings, Aquarius is on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the, does it even matter, 11th house? <laughs> and, uh, or if you have Venus and Aquarius, you can watch this reading. So for your reading today, we are looking at six cards for your week ahead. I'm using the A.E. White Tarot deck here. Uh, if I need to clarify, I'll be using the Royo Dark Tarot. At the end of your reading, I'll be pulling some guidance messages from the Moonology Oracle cards. Uh, a lot of messages coming through for you, Aquarius. Not all of them good ones, but... Uh, I'm just thinking here, do I want to go into those messages. Uh, no, I'd rather just get into the reading and I'm sure you would too. So, um, Aquarius, you're not very good at relationships, are you? You think you are, but you're not. We'll talk about that. We're going to have to talk about that. All right. For your reading today, we're looking at six cards for your week ahead. Oh, I did want to mention one thing. Uh, personal readings below in the description. You can book your personal reading down there. I do have two specials going on right now. One is a 30% off Groupon. And the other one is a New Year forecast. So check those out if you're interested. Although I'm sure you're probably not interested after I told you you're not very good at relationships. Oh yeah, you're eight of wands. All right, let's get into your reading. I have to laugh because I'm I'm slowly becoming a cross watchers channel, even though that's not my intention. Only some of you will think that's funny. It's actually not supposed to be funny. It's just the truth. Yeeha! At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm getting um, an offer coming in here. This could be with regards to work. I'm also seeing this is a divine gift here, the gift of a new beginning. So what you do with it is up to you. Carpe diem. I'm also getting here um, health, a gift of health, a gift of... Um, this could also just be money coming in. So you may be receiving uh, a big chunk of money here. Or it could be a small chunk. I'm getting it's a an offer. Someone may be offering you a new beginning here in a relationship. Um, so I'm I'm seeing it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. It's quite lovely. All right. So let's see the rest of your cards here, though. That is the underlying theme or challenge of this reading. Aquarius, how you see yourself today? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I'm getting you are not having mental clarity right now about something. You're not seeing things clearly. You're not. I'm getting mental fog here. Now, others of you could uh, be outright lying about something or you're not able to. 
You're not talking. You're not talking. That's what it is. Some of you are not uh, speaking up here when you ought to be. Um, some of you are biting your tongue when you ought to be speaking the truth. So I'm getting either way here. We're dealing with some kind of lie, falsification. This could be a forgery um, of some kind. Or I'm also getting uh, something as a thumbs down here. All right. Um, getting thumbs down or it could be a something is getting a voted down or um, this could be with legislation or some kind of uh, written document here. I'm getting it doesn't pass the test. The theme for you over the next week whoops, is your card, I believe. Yep, the Knight of Swords. Well, Aquarius, what do I, what can I say about this? Um, I, I, this is a very fast moving night. Um, a couple of things about him. He doesn't uh, really think much. He just does. All right. So you're rushing around a lot this week. You're um, I feel like you want to tell someone the truth or you want to come in and say something Um I'm getting a lot of people are looking at you confused or, or not understanding you. I feel like you are rushing in here. I'm getting something about you want to set the record straight, but the way that you're doing it is a little bit haphazard. I'm getting a little bit of like a, a bull in the China, a bull in a China shop here. All right. And, and the other thing that I want to say is that um, even the horse here is kind of like uh, looking back at you like you're crazy. So this is a very, like I said, it's a fast moving energy. It's, it's someone that um, kind of impetuous, impatient, revolutionary, um, rushing. So think about where you're doing this in your life. But this is a theme for you over the next week. This could also be another air sign doing this to you. Um, I want to say slow down here, but I don't feel like there's any slowing you down. Um, the only thing that bothers me about this combination is um, someone might, you might be trying to correct someone or you may be rushing in a bit fast and catching someone off guard here. So uh, I kind of feel like this is like Paul Revere waking up the, uh, this, uh, Paul Revere here rushing in to let the, the army know the British are coming. So very revolutionary type of energy. Um, something Aquarius has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember. We have the Wheel of Fortune, so Jupiter. Well, I think that you, I want to say you we're riding this wheel in your past. You are letting things happen. Things were moving in your favor. Um, whether you know it or not, you have been blessed with a great amount of fortune. This is also Jupiter. Jupiter is in your sign right now. Um, I'm also hearing karma. What goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. So you might have learned a lesson around this in your past. It's coming up again for you this week. Let's see. Your challenge over the next week is the hanged man. Okay. So something here is at a crossroads. Um, I'm also getting the hanged man is my traitor card. If you you could be dealing with someone who is a traitor, you could be deal dealing with someone who is um, doing this kind of thing to you, or this is you, which is you don't mind being in pain but you're not doing anything about it. So you're comfortable in this position. However, I, I will say that there is no movement. There is no movement. So your challenge is that um, something here is on hold. Um, you're being given the opportunity to look at something from a new perspective. Uh, major arcana as well. So a major uh, forces at work here. We have Pisces, Exalted and Leo. We have Sagittarius. And we have air sign energy coming in. So your challenge is to um, not take action, observe things, 
Um, I also would not recommend here with this energy here doing this kind of thing. So either that or something major is on hold for you right now. You may literally be at some sort of crossroads. This could be with a relationship. This could be with a work situation. Um, I'm just getting that um, there's going to be a lack of movement and progress coming up for you as a challenge. What will you do with it? It's up to you. The lesson you're learning now is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So typically, this card speaks to someone who is not doing their work well. It could be shabbily done. Uh, it could also be someone who is um, not putting in the effort, not building on something here, or is quite literally out of work. Um, you may be learning a lesson around this as well. So this could definitely be a work issue. I'm also hearing slow progress or you may be doing the same thing over and over again and not getting anywhere. Okay. So if this is a relationship, I'm seeing someone here is not, uh, does not have greater romantic feelings, is not putting the work in, is not interested in putting the work in or the effort to make things happen, to make things better. And that's why things are at a standstill. For others of you, there's a lesson for you that you're learning this week, uh, this right now, and it is regarding a work situation. Um, it could be a production issue. It could also be here a quality issue. I, I feel like your attention is not on your work like it should be. All right. Uh, or you're not interested in your what you're doing anymore. So the gift you will receive is the King of Cups in reverse. Water sign energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This could be a father figure here uh, or your father. The King of Cups reverse is someone who is uh, very intense negative emotions, uh, emotionally unavailable to some degree. They uh, are unable to feel very much, uh, pretty much numb to their feelings. This could also be someone that does have a drinking problem. This could be someone that has... Um, an alcohol uh, use disorder or something like that. I'm also getting off of this energy. Yeah, intense negative feelings towards someone or someone has very negative feelings towards you, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and clarify him. So right away, I'm seeing this has to do with someone or something that happened in your past or someone from your past. Um, I'm also getting sex without love. Um, I'm getting something about a father figure here. Uh, this is someone who is a good provider. Um, they're putting in, I'm, I'm just getting, it's uh, oppressive or burdensome here. Something is oppressive or burdensome. And I'm getting with the Six of Cups here. Um, the only thing you could possibly do with this person is revive. Uh, this could be a past life relationship for sure. A past life relationship or someone you've known from your past. But I'm getting, there's, the emotions have are failing to flow with this person. I'm getting, um, if there is sex, it's without love. And I'm getting that with the Ten of Wands here, it's just a whole lot of effort. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's back breaking. Um, it's almost oppressive is what I'm getting. And so I feel that um, while you may have fond memories of this person at a, from a certain point in time, I'm getting at this point, it's just, you're at the Ten of Wands here. So I don't know what to say except for um, someone is doing too much in the relationship. They're doing all the work or, and someone's not doing anything or someone is putting in all the effort, but they're not 
they're, they're not emotionally available anymore. They're not even really involved emotionally. I'm getting someone is just going through the motions here is really what I'm getting, Aquarius. And we have the full moon here. It says surrender to the divine. So uh, that is definitely what I'm getting off of this hangman card. I want to say, give it up, Aquarius. Give it up. Surrender. They want you to surrender. Um, I feel like you're trying to do something even though you know it's not working. I feel like you're trying to push through something. This could be a job, a relationship. All I see you doing is pushing, 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 pushing. And all the while, you don't know what you're doing. You're confused. You don't have clarity. And they want you to just give it up. Surrender. Allow things to fall apart. Allow things to, to go the way that they need to go. Stop trying to control every little way the work or the relationship goes. Just surrender to it. Surrender. Um, that's the best advice I could give you right now. So that's what I have for you this week. Um, if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Take care.